Nigeria Police Force, NPF, has arrested 130 suspects involved in cybercrime, hacking and activities deemed threat to national security. According to police spokesperson Olumuiwa Dejobi, the suspects include 113 uh, foreign nationals, 87 males and 26 females, and 17 Nigerian collaborators, consisting of 4 males and 13 females. The foreign suspects are primarily the Chinese and Malaysian origin. The operation, led by Assistant Inspector General Police Bennett Igwe, took place on November 2, 2024, at the building in the next Kash and Kari area of Jahi Abuja. It was conducted by officers from the Zone 7 Command and the National Cybercrime Center. The suspects were reportedly using sophisticated equipment to facilitate criminal activities. And they will be stated that the police are currently analyzing the recovered evidence and that the suspects will be formally charged in court once investigations are complete. Cybercrime. How have we been handling cybercrime? There have been an increase in cybercrime in Nigeria. And now we have foreigners who are coming in here and getting involved in this. That's further increase because not just Nigerians who are involved anymore. Yes, sir. Let's have you on this one first. All right. You know, are you aware Nigeria, the Niger we are Niger in Nigeria? We are very educated. And it, they didn't know what is, what is criminality for us. I define criminality to be intelligence in the midst of oppression and deprivation, waiting for an avenue to manifest. I'll come again. So criminality is intelligence in the midst of depression and oppression, looking for an avenue to manifest. Most of these boys you see that are, in, that are indulged in cyber security is because of frustration. Or cyber crime. It's because of frustration. If you go close to them to ask them, if they've seen opportunity to strive positively, they will not be doing that. It's just like what one of my pastors said. He said, for you to be a criminal, you must be a very successful project manager. So Nigeria has failed us. I don't, I don't blame these boys anymore. Because most of them are willing, if given opportunity, to strive and work for this government to make Nigeria a better place. Oh, so, mm. you know, converting all their intelligence and there's nowhere to manifest it, they're going to criminality. So uh, the, the government should come to this and accept responsibility to provide opportunity for this brave youth to strive. What we call criminality today can be used positively to protect this, this country. So we shouldn't just, I am not, I'm not in any way trying to uh, 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 support what they are doing. I'm not supporting it. But most of them is as a result of negligence and frustration. Now that we feel that um, the country, like he said, I've heard a lot of young people say, oh, Nigeria has failed us, country has failed us, our leaders have failed. They keep saying this statement. Now that you have that ideology, how do you think that they can, like he said, harness this intelligence that they have and channel it into positivity? It, it beats my imagination that we are where we are today. Because uh, looking at it from time in memoria, Nigerians constitute the best of the brains with the best global practices anywhere in the world. So for our youths in particular to find themselves in this spectrum, it's a shame to our government that this will be happening in this trying time where we are supposed to be harnessing all in retrospect to make sure these youths take us to the next level. Now you look at it, for example, they brought someone that was involved in a cyber crime here in Nigeria to the IGP last month, just last month ago. And uh, what was the issue? He hacked into an account and moved a lump sum amount of money in dollars. And why he was under investigation, he was called forth to showcase how he's able to do this. He just asked the, uh, the IGP to bring his account details. 
the man brought his account details. He he said, I'm gonna move your 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 money from this account to this account. Before they could say Jack, the John Black had moved the money. The, the man <laughs> the man quickly told him to stop that he does not want that, oh, our boys, our people are that good. Now the question, the big question mark now is how come we have 113 foreign nationals in our country if they know we are not this good? That is to tell you that they need our people outside of this country, that we need them. Yet, these children are going to face cyber crime. Do you know that uh, the Russians, Americans, Germans can do anything to have this type of kids in their industry? Of course. That's why they say we Nigerians are so docile in our antecedents that we are in the religious homes Monday to Sunday praying while other countries are into production. Does the Chinese and Indians know God? Do they believe in the same God we believe in? But we, but, but we are talking about the industrial hub. China is holy really soil today. India is holy soil. How much more we that claim to know much about God? Charity they say begins at home. That's why the Bible says judgment will start from where? The house of God. All right, let, let's look at ways in which these young people, like I asked uh, Alfred earlier, can harness this intelligence and this knowledge that they have into positivity instead of going into crime. Okay, like I said, I've actually engaged some young people. I've engaged them in conversations to seek their mindset. And I tell you, most of these youths are willing, are ready to use their intellect in, in, in a positive direction, but they are not given opportunity. There's no platform. Most of us, most, most of us that graduate as, uh, as computer engineers from school, where are we? Where are we today? Where is the opportunity for you to practice as a computer engineer? Like my colleague just said, these things that they are doing that is seen to be crime here, some countries are looking for them. But the, the, the only, the only what, what marvels me here is, like I said, is where foreigners are coming in. Where foreigners are coming in. And are they coming in to be taught so that they can use this for Nigeria or for their own country? Hmm. That's a big question, and that's something that the government. Because I I, 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 I know to. very well. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how the police are handling this, but I know if Nigerians are caught outside with this kind of crime, they won't be taken for granted at all. all. Right, like I said, the government should pay more attention to harnessing this intelligence and knowledge that our young people have these days. Mm.